All right, what's up? Back again for another adventure. This time I am getting ready to go to Kamloops and Banff. So we are leaving on Saturday. Let's see, let me just grab a quick Zeeves. I love these things. Mmm. Starting to get ready to go to Banff. We are leaving on Saturday morning and we are staying in Kamloops for two nights in an Airbnb. And then after that, we're gonna be camping in Banff for five nights. So I am just starting to get some of the stuff together. We got a camp stove, the place is kind of a mess. I have camera gear and propane and all kinds of crap over there. Um, so I am going to get to it and I will be back later. I'm making a list, checking it twice. That's the wrong season. Anyway, I kind of have a tendency to overpack for these sort of things. So I don't know. What do you think guys? Do we need a frying pan? Do you think we need sand? Maybe some salt? Who knows, we might run into some icy situations. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, okay, that's a, that's a little bit of an inside joke. On the last trip that we went to, or sorry, not the last trip, the very first trip that we went on, we went to Kamloops and it was really cold. It was like minus 10 degrees when we were in Kamloops and I, I knew it was gonna be really cold. So I decided at the last minute to buy a big bag of salt and sand. And I thought that that's a great idea. Just in case the car gets stuck, rebel, kibosh that right away. Kibosh? Or is it, is it kibosh or is it kibosh? Pretty sure it's kibosh. I don't know. You know what I mean. All right, just about to start loading up all of the uh, camping stuff into the car. I kind of need to reorganize a little bit, but I wanted to take a quick shot of this. Look at how smoky it is. can't even see any clouds. Look at the sun. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like bright red. It's a lot of smoke. It's all coming from the Okanagan, which is actually where we're headed uh, tomorrow. So I bet you it's gonna be even worse there. We kind of got lucky this summer. Like I've lived in Vancouver my whole life. And in the past, this has showed up like back in early July and they had it like all summer. So we've got kind of lucky that it's just showing. I think today was the first day really that it showed up. But this is, this is pretty bad. Like you can actually smell, and it smells like campfire outside. Like it, it smells nice, but yeah, can't be good for you. Anyway, just waiting for Rebel to get back uh, so that we can, we can take off here. Everything's all packed up and ready to go. But just thought I'd share an interesting uh, mishap that just happened. So I usually bring Gemma in the car in a carrier. And even in the carrier, she hates being in the car like most cats do. This time I decided to just put a blanket in the back seat, put her back there and bring her over here because she's actually staying with um, Rebel's roommate for the week while we're away. She's going to look after all three cats. But uh, Gemma, she, I thought she was doing really well. Like she was lying down in the back seat. She was just chilling. And then all of a sudden I turn around behind me and I see her squatting like, Gemma, what are you doing? And she decided to poop in the back seat and then proceeded to throw up. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, just when things couldn't get any worse, I look in the rear view mirror and I see her peeing. Like she's just, just spraying pee all over the cooler and all the other crap in the back seat. So uh, yeah, Gemma made a huge mess of the car. I just had to, that blanket, I don't even think, I'm just gonna throw it out. Yeah, anyway, uh, car's cleaned up, everything's packed up, ready to go. Not gonna let this ruin our <laughs> first day. <laughs> Oh, hey, so I cleaned everything up. <laughs> Trunk is pretty full. Everything's all packed up. Yeah. And then check out the back seat. Oh man. Yeah, you're right. We are packed. Yeah. This wouldn't all fit in your car, I don't think. No, it definitely wouldn't have. We need to take yours. 
funny because like I always think that my car is a little bit bigger because it's a hatchback, but yours is definitely bigger. My trunk is so deep. Yeah. Like you have, yes. a, big, you have a big trunk. Yeah. Are we ready to go? Yep. Okay, so we said we were gonna leave at ten thirty, and it is now. You probably can't even see that. It is now twelve thirty. So that's actually pretty good for us, I think. <laughs> yeah, a couple of incidences on this morning, but we, yeah, we but we're making it work, and we're good to go now. Let's do it. Smoke ahead too. Some smoke coming up there. Making a quick little pit stop in Merritt. This is actually the same parking lot we stopped when we came up here the first time back in, what was that, February? Uh-huh. Yeah, except the parking lot before was all covered in snow, and now the whole freaking town is covered in smoke, and there's like ash flying through the air. I'm not sure how well this camera can pick it up, but it's very smoky. So I just had some Subway, they've had some pickles, you know, complete meal, as always. <laughs> I ate the car. <laughs> what do you have in the car? A salad. More salad. <laughs> a little rabbit food. I like my rabbit food, okay? You do. You're a little bit <laughs> rabbit. So we just arrived and we're about to get a tour of the place mm -hmm. from the <laughs> upstairs owners, I guess. Yeah, I've never had this experience with an Airbnb before. No. I usually just show up and go I'm and I usually okay. don't interact with them at all. in Kamloops. At Riverside Park. This is the same uh, <laughs> this is the same park we were at four months, four six months ago. <laughs> and it was covered in snow and like minus fifteen degrees. It's freezing. Now it's thirty-five degrees. <laughs> we're walking to where we had our another little photo shoot. Yeah. We actually have a video there too. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Now we can make another one. We just made a short pit stop because Chris found some really cool nupchucks he's gonna shoot. Yeah. And this view. These mountains are huge. And we saw a really old car back there, so we're gonna go check that one out too. Stay tuned for the finished product. I don't know anything about cars, but it looks cool. And it's a pretty cool spot that we're in. We're covered, we're like surrounded by, like it looks like we're in Arizona. It's very like deserty. Very different than what we're gonna see when we're in Banff. So it's kind of cool to be able to have this like so close together. So a little about BC. And this one here, super patient with all the photos. <laughs> I like watching you take pictures. <laughs> So a quick little recap of what we did so far on the trip before I forget. The first day Saturday, we drove up here, stopped in Chilliwack actually, and I showed her Belle where I used to live in Chilliwack. Thought we stopped in Merritt here Saturday night, probably like 6.30 or 7. And we didn't 
like we were pretty tired when we got here and we just kind of hung out here. We played games, had drinks. And then yesterday, Sunday, we went into Camelot. We were here six months ago, like when we just started dating in the winter and it was like minus 12. Uh, we went to Riverside Park, which is like a really popular beach here in Kamloops, but it was completely dead yesterday. Then after we went to this little spot that we went to when we came here six months ago, it's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. Like it's on like the side of like a, like a mountain. I don't even know what to call it, but we went back to that same spot, took more photos. I can't wait to- The sky was orange. Yeah, it was like all, it was, I was, yeah. It looked like something out of a movie. Yeah. (laughs) It looks like there's a filter on, but there was no filter at all. And then we went to the Noble Pig, which is like a cute little bar restaurant here in Kamloops. And we got food. (laughs) And then we went and got Frosties at Wendy's. <laughs> and I fed you Frosties in the car. You did. And thought you had to spoon feed somebody. <laughs> I mean, and we saw cows. We did see cows. We were trying to pet them, but they didn't come. Got a text from Alex. Apparently, Gemma was being a little brat yesterday. She escaped from Rebel's apartment and jumped out the window. And she came home and didn't know where Gemma was, and it was a big ordeal, but... And we were crying outside the window. <laughs> Luckily, she's okay, but she's kind of a little brat. <laughs> last night, we didn't really do it. We were pretty tired. We went to bed earlier than usual. And now, we are about to drive for six hours. Give me the best. You ready to go? Ready. Right.